Will and I have always had a dream to own a farm one day, and honestly, that's that dream I thought we were years out from ever completing. But about three months ago, we found ourselves on Zillow, browsing at houses, which is kind of like a hobby for us, and we came across this property right down the road from where we used to live, and we absolutely fell in love with it immediately. So if you guys don't know, we used to live in a townhouse community, and even though we really liked our house, it just didn't really fit what we needed. So obviously we RV a lot, we have a big fifth wheel, and we couldn't park it where we lived because we only had some parking spaces. We just didn't have a lot of land for the dogs, and we just, you know, both of us grew up having more property and room to have as our own space for dogs to run around and um, just to have some privacy. And that's something that we've wanted ever since we got married. I'm excited because we finally have that kind of property now. And in this video, we're gonna give you guys a full before tour of this property because we are actually renovating this house. We're just getting started on it and I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like before. So without further ado, let's go in and check it out. I'm gonna start with the outside, show you a couple of the things, more in the front yard, and then Jen's gonna take it inside and then we'll go out back and make sure to hang out to the end because at the very end of the tour, we have something I think we were crazy about, but uh, we gotta share it with you guys. So starting off, this is our front yard here, right? And it's a really, really nice big front yard. And the nice thing is that this road, even though there's two cars going by now, it is so quiet and so peaceful. We really, really love it. You know, we're so used to all the commotion in our townhouse and people always driving around. And it's just quiet here. You can hear the birds chirp in and hear the squirrels in the woods and everything. But as you'll see, it's, it's actually a really good sized front yard. And then like over here, we have a nice big magnolia tree, which I think is something that Jen and I have always really thought is so cool. Um, I've just always loved magnolia trees. Off to the front on the other side, one thing for Jen was she always had like this dream of having willow trees. Yes. And she was like, I don't even really know why. No, but... I do know why, because I grew up with one. Oh, is that why? Yeah, and I, I loved it growing up. Yeah, so we have three willow trees right over there. You'll see a pretty good sized driveway, but not like super long, which is really nice for when it snows and everything. This is probably kind of like what sold us, don't you think, Jen? Just like how cute it is on the outside. Yes, and when you kind of come around the turn, like you just see it there, it's just so cute. This house is actually smaller than our townhouse. We really didn't need a big house, but I just love how cute and simple and just kind of farmy yeah. it is. Yeah, it's got um, like a cute little farmhouse feel to it. It does, yep. The nice thing is the house does need a lot of work. So you'll see as we're going through, you guys are gonna think again that we're crazy for taking on this much work, which we really have enough work on our plate anyways. I don't know what we were thinking either. <laughs> but the one nice thing is, is the outside of the house is actually in really good shape. They did reside it and I like the color that they did. And there is a new roof on it as well. One other thing that I really liked is this front porch. I don't know why, but I've always just thought front porches are just so cool and so cute. The person that we bought it from left a lot of stuff here, including these plants. So we need to clean all this up. And then we have our own little swing here. Huh. And I have tested this out before. Sure. <laughs> I thought I did. No, it's actually like really sturdy. Um, look, what? that was all distraught. I can't believe that side without me. <laughs> cool, you wanna take it inside? Yeah. All right, so this is our main front door. This is not, we actually go in and out more to the garage, but we'll come in this way. So you might be able to hear it's very echoey in here. We don't have much furniture in here right now. Um, the stuff behind me was left by the previous owner, so we're in the process of getting all of that out into a dumpster. But I'll start off first. So this, we have like two living rooms here. And I will say like, that was probably like one of our biggest dislikes about the house is that it kind of has two small, like it has like a formal family room, I guess, right. and then a living room. And I wish that it had been designed so it was just one big open living room area. So we're still a little unsure of how we want to work this space because this is kind of more of your formal sitting room. Um, we were thinking at one point of opening this whole area up because well this is the dining room over here opening it all up but i don't know if it's going to work out if we can do that then we'll make this a big living area but if not we'll probably keep this more of like a formal sitting room yeah um, maybe i have a piano that i can put in here some some chairs maybe a little bit of a desk or something like that but yeah you got like nice big front windows here and there was more so we did have these walls kills already yes. the previous owner um it smelled like they smoked a little bit not a lot 
Um, but it does smell a lot better in here now, don't yeah. you think? I'm really sensitive to like mold and smoke yeah. smell and stuff. Pretty much the first thing we did was, and it, most of the furniture we got, especially like fabric-based stuff, there was carpet on the stairs and most of the upstairs. So we got all that out. Curtains, a lot of the stuff that holds odors like that, we got out and then we had a guy come in and paint all the walls with kills um, to get rid of that smoke odor. So it's a lot better in here now. Like noticeably when I walk in, I don't smell it. And it, yeah. and it just, it's more, I did it so that we could work in here and like, it wasn't exactly. All right, so back behind me, this is the formal dining room area. There was these Beltons that were here when we bought it. I think we're gonna end up taking them out, but I'm also like kind of considering trying to like dress them up with like trim. Maybe put new, I'm not crazy about these doors. Right. But if we put new doors on, you know, it could be cute. So I'm, I'm kind of like going back and forth on that a little bit of, of what I want to do with this. But there's a chance that we'll just like kind of rip all this out. I think it would be cool. I haven't talked to Will about this, but especially if we keep this as like a separate space from this, um, because it's kind of cased in about doing like a cool, like maybe darker accent color in here. Yeah, I think Because be I think cool. we'll keep, We'll probably do like a you know white on a lot of the walls, keep it pretty neutral. So I think it'd be cool to do like a dark room that's a little edgier. But yeah, this will likely be the dining space unless we can make this like one big open living room. On the back here, this is one of our entrances to the backyard. They have a sliding door here. We are considering doing French doors though, which I think would be really pretty just to be able to like open them up and go outside. So we'll see if we're able to put those in, but it's really, uh, you'll see, you guys will see the backyard later. It's really, really nice. And um, that's something that we were missing at our old house. We, we really had no, we had a very small fence in backyard, but we had no patio or like anything to really enjoy being outside. Right. And so in this space, I feel like we can just go outside so much, enjoy it, you know, go out and grill and everything. So, but we'll show you guys that a little bit later. Cool, so I'm gonna take you guys into the kitchen now. Which is a little bit of, well, it's a mess right now, but we're still trying to figure out what exactly to do in here, to be honest. We have some ideas, but right now you will see we have the fridge, sink, oven. It's, you know, galley style kitchen. What we're kind of thinking is to end the kitchen about here and then doing like built in, um, what do you call that? Like, like a, a uh, built in like, like breakfast booth. nook. Yeah. Yeah, but we're gonna do like booth style yeah. and then put a table and some chairs around it. Right, so we were thinking do like bench seating here, right? Yeah. And then a table in the So it'd middle. be like a nice like eating kitchen with the, the windows here. You have a yeah. view of the backyard. So it'd be really yep. nice in the morning just to sit and have coffee. And right. Work. And then here we are gonna, this is where it's a little more confusing is on this side because we have this area, but it also kind of leads into the other family room. And so we're trying to be conscious of both spaces. But right now we have this little peninsula. We're thinking about taking out this pantry here because this pantry is really, really big. It's probably gonna be hard for you guys to see, but it's really big. And truthfully, we don't store that many like dried goods, I feel like, yeah. or like pantry goods. Um, so we're thinking about taking that out and doing like a cabinet style pantry, maybe doing the fridge over here. We're just kind of still playing around with it and trying to figure out what exactly we want yeah. here. And then here's that other room that Jen was talking about earlier, which really does make the better like living space, just because it's like the kitchen's right here, the breakfast nook's gonna be there, but it is tight. And we've just been like measuring it so many different ways. And of course we just kind of splurged a little bit and bought ourselves a new couch. And that was like our Christmas present last year. And it didn't come until like June. And then we bought this house in July. So it's like, we and I don't, don't, know if it's don't gonna wanna fit. get rid of this couch, but um, yeah, we don't know if it's gonna fit. So again, if we can make that the big living room area, we'll put the couch in there. And then this would be more, I guess, like the dining room, right? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I think, Honestly, it's gonna work out where this is the living room. I think so too. Um, and it has the fireplace and everything. It does. You might notice it's a little dark in here. Right. So all over this house, there's like no, there's I not know. much like built-in recess lighting or anything. Um, so that's something we're gonna be adding in is all over yeah. the house is um, some lights in the ceiling. It is a really nice fireplace. Um, and it's got like a little fan you can plug in to blow the heat out. But yeah, so this really will make a nice living space. Again, it's a mess in here, guys. But the upstairs, we haven't done much downstairs. The upstairs is an even bigger mess. We have been doing a little bit of work up here. Yeah. Mainly, also, also, I just want to say, like, we might knock this out too. Right. This is like a weird nook, and I don't think it's structural at all. 
So I think we're gonna like open that up. That way it's not like the, a couch is like butting up against a little half wall thing. Yeah, exactly, good point. So you'll see like we took the uh, carpet out of the stairs. And the big reason we did that so quick was just because of that smoke smell. We wanted to get that carpet out. I've seen on Pinterest where people paint the stairs black yeah. and do like a, a carpet runner up. Um, but that's kind of what I'm hoping to do in here. I think that would look really pretty. This isn't like a real old farmhouse. It's not. But we wanted to have that feeling. So we're definitely going with kind of more of like that rustic, yeah. um, older Feel. like farmhouse yeah. look. Not super like modern. Right. Um, so that's definitely the vibe. But yeah, let's go upstairs. Okay. If you guys aren't subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I know this is a little different than um, our RV content and we are going to still be RVing as we're renovating this house. We actually have a exciting trip trip coming up in a couple weeks. And um, I know a lot of people like, you know, a lot of people full time RV, but also there's a lot of people that want to have a home base. We've considered like maybe renting this out when we're gone to kind of help cover the cost of the house and everything. So I know that like there's also a big segment of the RV community that kind of would like to do something like this. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration and some tips right. and everything. But yeah, we will be like showing you guys this whole process. So let's go into the master bedroom first. Okay. This is what is getting started first, huh? Yes. Like hopefully later today. Yep. So yeah, so and as you can see, it's probably it is pretty dark. dark in here. Let me turn the lights on if you don't mind. Yeah. Okay, so that helped a little bit. Um, again, we're gonna be doing recessed lights all in the, I mean, really all over the house. So that will help so much with lighting it up. But yeah, this is our master bedroom. And I, I actually love this space because it's just perfect size. Our last bedroom in our townhouse, it was actually huge, which seems great, but it was almost like too big. And then, then the bathroom could have been bigger in there. Um, so to me, it's like, this is a perfect amount of space to have like the TV um, across from the mm -hmm. bed area. While I'm talking about all this, I'll put some inspiration pictures of like what I'm kind of like thinking about for the different rooms and everything. I, I have a lot of ideas for the bedroom. I haven't really narrowed it down yet, but I know obviously we'll have the bed here against this wall. Might do like an accent wall here. Right, has, like, that would be like, nice. Yeah, the, the main wall you see when you come in. And then we have two nice windows here that look out to the front yard. Um, the guest bedroom actually has the best view, I think, but um, it's still a really pretty view out here. You can get to see the road. That is a mare, isn't it? And you have bad luck. <laughs> Did I break it? No, it I didn't like break it. sounded like it was cracking. Didn't break. And I think that I'm gonna end up doing a little like makeup vanity oh, slash guest cute. type of thing here. Yeah. Then there's this weird little nook. I know. That I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do right. with it. <laughs> so I'm either going to put like a full length mirror here so you can kind of come here and like make sure you look good, your outfit's good and everything. Um, maybe like a little plant or something. Or if I can find a armchair that can fit in there good, I might do a little like sitting too. nook. So we'll see what works out. But and then over here will be probably like a, a low dresser. If I can find something where we could do a little electric fireplace, I think that would be, That'd be so, so cool. nice to be able to like easily turn that on when we're up here at night. And then I'm going to mount a TV on the wall here. Okay. Back down this way. All right, and here is our closet in the master bedroom. So for me, this is a great size closet. Really I know is. some people would be like, oh, this isn't enough. We don't have a ton of clothes, honestly. And then we travel so much. I actually like keeping most of my clothes in the RV because we travel so much anyways that it's kind of a pain like moving them back and forth. So, I mean, if we're home for a long time, then I'll bring clothes in here, but we really didn't need a huge closet. So this will work good for us. Um, it might, I would, Excuse what? me. What? What did you want to tell? A video. What do you want to say to everybody? Come here. What is it? What's your? Oh, is this scary room? Big scary room. Oh my gosh! There's a gun in there. Is that real? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I it's no, a it's a BB gun. gun. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, oh, there's, there's a gun. A gun in there. Nice size closet. It is. What's well, not so nice? What's size, not though. so nice size? is this bathroom. So it's a very tight walkway. So this is where we're, this is one of the biggest renovations of the whole house. Yeah. So first of all, there's a little closet here, like a little linen closet. We're completely knocking that out. So why the doorway is so small is because you have this linen closet here and then you have this wall. This wall is actually the back of um, a closet out in the hallway. So it kind of sucks because we decided we're gonna take that hall closet out. It's kind of a bummer because you lose that storage space for towels and stuff. But honestly, it's worth it because it makes this bathroom 
way more like closed in feeling. So essentially this wall will go, if you can look in the shower, how far back this wall goes. Once we take this out, that wall will come and meet this one. And so this whole corner will be way more open. This will be knocked out too, which will allow us to make the doorway bigger. Yep. And just the whole bathroom will be bigger. We have some ideas after that, but I think we're also just kind of like going to rip it and then Yeah, play we almost around. like need to see the space to know yeah. like what's going to work. Okay, so right now the shower is over here. Our plan is we want to take the shower and essentially rotate it so that it's against this wall where the window is. I think we're gonna have to change the window out for like a sh uh, sh one that's like rated for a shower right. that doesn't break easily. I'm hoping that we can do like a shower head over here and then I really wanna do like a frameless glass door. We're planning on actually demoing this today. Based on how open it is once we like knock out this, these closets here, we'll kind of determine how we wanna lay everything out. We're hoping that we can have the shower here and then still have room over on the side for a decent sized vanity. Right. Originally we were thinking maybe we could do like vanity toilet. And then now when I'm in here right now, I'm like, I don't I see don't that know. happening. I don't think so either. So what I've thought about is putting the toilet in this corner that basically where the hall closet is now and have it kind of facing out. So like if you came in, it would be kind of like around the corner. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like out of sight, which is fine for the toilet. And then that way we have room to, we're not gonna have a huge vanity probably, but like, big enough because this is our master and then something comfortable enough. So that's what, that was like probably one of the biggest things that we're tackling with this house is this bathroom. And we're just kind of winging it as we go on. Yeah. <laughs> so on the other side, this is where you'll see that closet we were talking about. So again, this closet is coming out. It kind of sucks we're losing some closet space, but I think in the end it'll be well worth it. And then coming into here, this is the like guest, guest bathroom. So we have a shower in here, decent size. We're gonna keep this a tub, but we are gonna do a full reno on this bathroom as well. And a lot of the stuff we are DIYing slash also outsourcing, like we're doing a combination to try to save some money. But we're gonna do a tub here, shower surround, pretty much keep the footprint in here. We might tile, we might do the laminate in here and then keep all this, just new toilet, new vanity, mirror and all that. Yeah. In here, this is the one of the other um, guest rooms. Pretty simple, nice views of the outside. This is a smaller room, but not terribly small. None of the rooms are super small. Yeah, I and think uh, we're gonna have to take these stars off. I know, too. I know. As cute as they are, I don't yeah. think they're gonna fit with the aesthetic. Exactly. So I, I'm thinking. So one idea I had for this space, because this is a smaller bedroom, mm -hmm. is um, possibly doing like a Murphy bed Murphy in here. Murphy bed, yeah. And like especially if we can either build or or buy one where like when the Murphy bed is up, it's like a fold down desk. Yeah. So this could be like an office space or another bedroom if you need it. Yeah. You know. And then in here is the last bath bedroom. So yeah, this bedroom is actually a really nice big bedroom. I actually like this bedroom almost more than the master if it had a shower connected to it. Yeah. It's got huge closets, it's got really good views, and it's really nice size. Yeah. So, so this will be when, when Matt comes up yep. or Kathy stay in here. <laughs> this is their This will be their nice bedroom. So yep. and they got nice views of the side yard with something exactly. special that we'll show you. Yep. Cool, so right off the kitchen area, we're back downstairs. This is where the half bathroom is. And there's been a lot of like talk with what we can do in this space. It's a smaller bathroom. I would love to make this a full bath. Honestly, just for resale value when I was looking at comps. But in here, we are gonna do um, new paint, take the dry, or take the uh, wallpaper down. Um, take this off, but you talked about doing something else similar to this, right? Well, I kind of like the um, this half wall, like the yeah. treatment that they did. I just want to take that. remove that, just do probably like a straight piece, and then we can kind of paint this like a half, like maybe white up here, and then yeah. like a dark green or something underneath. That's something look really like nice. That. Yeah, and then new um, sink and toilet there. Yeah. Over here is the laundry room. The laundry room is a little bit weird because it's like way down this hall. That's your utility There's your room. utilities. So that's why it's kind of hard. There is really the room in here to do a new, or to do like extend that out and do a, um, a shower. shower in there. But that might have to wait till we like end up needing a new AC unit or something. Cause then maybe they could move it all at once. Right. And then down this hall, although it's weird, we do like how this laundry room 
is on the main level and it is a nice big room in here where we can do shelving and do you know a, a little table and everything yeah. so so right now we're actually looking at getting new washer and dryer front loading yeah so that we can do a countertop over over it and i just really i actually want to make this like a nice space like i'd I love to do too. some built-ins countertop space yeah. like storage and everything make this a really cute room okay right. should we go show them the part like one of my favorite parts something i was missing yes. in our old house yep. okay all right so it's a mess but i finally have a garage yay <laughs> Lula uh, has been wanting a garage for her home area. i know <laughs> Um, no, it's just so nice as you guys can see it's still a mess in here because we were like You know, we had to rent storage and all that to move and we we're trying to get unloaded So we didn't have to keep paying for it, but it's just so nice having like a space that we can Store our clothes and our boxes and everything and um, we don't have to take it downstairs into the basement like we did before Now as you can see this garage also needs a little bit of work. The walls are pretty beat up the floor is a little bit beat up. So. Also, there's like a creepy attic over the garage. Yeah. And when we first um, when we first got the house and came here, Matt was the sucker that went up to clean yeah. it out. And he found like we were like all kinds of weird oh, stuff. Oh, weird stuff. But I remember remember the human eyeball yes. thing. It was like a Halloween thing, but it was a container that looked like human. It was very said, realistic. Looking. It said human eyeball, and then literally a bouncy eyeball came out, and we thought it was <laughs> yeah. real at first. It scared the crap. Out. It was actually funny, like looking back on it. <laughs> Cool. Do you want to show everybody where we've been staying now? Yes. Okay. Oh, before you do that, let's show them um, really quick. You guys obviously know we have an RV. One thing that we didn't even know until after we bought the house was that this already has a 50 amp plug there, which is actually really cool. We have to tweak it a little bit. So I have somebody who's a friend that he's an electrician. So hopefully he can fix that. But what I might even do is try to run it all the way out there yeah. um, to the end of the garage. So, you know, maybe when Matt comes over, or maybe we could end up doing like harvesters or something. That'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, or like the mooch docking. Yeah. At least all of our friends that have RVs can stay here. Exactly, yep. Okay, so Will and I have been living here for a couple weeks now, but as you can probably see, the house wasn't really in a state to live in. So what we've been doing is staying in our trusty RV yes. um, that we love, and that's been super nice. So It has. So we parked the RV um, here in the drive, like right off of the driveway, and um, it's just so nice because we have a comfortable space that we enjoy staying in. It's not like we're cooped up in a hotel or something, or trying to live in the house with the state that it's in. We're super comfortable in the RV. We've been staying here in our driveway, and it makes it really convenient because when we want to do work on the house, we're just steps away in and out it's not like we have to like drive over here also i just love in the mornings because you wake up in the rv you open the blinds and i just love our property here it's beautiful and the sun's coming up uh we go for walks down the street the, the river is actually right down the street so we like walk down to the river in the morning it's just so peaceful so and you said you talked about two things our property um, now you said it's a farm. It's not really it's, a farm, yeah. but so how how big is it? We said it's about three acres. Yeah, about three acres. And then maybe we should at the end take them um, um, down to the water. Yeah, that'd be so, cool. So it's I'm really close to, to the water. Um, and about this time of year, you can actually see the water from the back of our house. But right now, I'm looking, and the trees are covering it still. Yeah. But all fall, winter, and some of spring, they said you can see it. Yeah. So there's actually a lot going on outside. Lots of different spaces. There are. So up here is the driveway space, kind of showed this earlier, but there's a basketball hoop here, so if we want to shoot some hoops. That's right. <laughs> we have space for like several vehicles up yeah. here and, and stuff like that. So the previous owner had a horse here. Um, so this is actually like a corral area. I don't know a lot about owning horses and taking care of them, but I think the corral space is more um, like a tighter fenced in space to you know train a horse or bring right. a horse or I don't really know. We have some hopes to eventually maybe get some chickens, some goats, we'll yeah. see. Um, so if we do, I think that it would be good for us to kind of make that their space. I think that so. That way it's separate from where the dogs are and then the dogs aren't terrorizing them. So we'll probably have to clean up this fencing a little yeah. bit, add some chicken wire. But yeah, right now it's kind of being unused, but it's nice that it's there. So if we want to add that in eventually, over this way behind me is a pole barn. So I know when we were buying this, Will really liked that it had this pole barn because it's just kind of a covered space just to um, put the lawn tractor. So yeah, this is just like a nice like covered space. 
Unfortunately, it's not tall enough tall enough for us to put the RV in there. But you know, we have we have a, a utility trailer and anything else short like that. If we mm -hmm. want to like stick it in there, it's like protected from Probably the elements the a little bit. There. So around kind of the back of the RV, back towards the house. This used to be like um, a garden space. I think it was kind of start starting to get neglected looking when we were here, like looking at the house. But it did give us the idea of like using the space for a garden. And so again, a lot of these outside projects are further down the road. We really want to get the inside like all done and livable first. But I do really want to put some garden beds in here, maybe even like some raised ones um, so that they're like raised up from the ground. And Will's sister, Kati, she loves gardening. She has plants at home, vegetable and fruit plants and stuff, and she really enjoys it. So we, what we've talked about is making that like her project because she would be excited about having, you know, a garden to take care of. And also this is separate from the fence in area for the dog. So it's like, you don't have to worry about the dogs getting into right. stuff and eating it. So yeah, eventually I think this space will become our garden area. Yeah. Um, all this, so our property goes way back here. There's a road back there, which you're probably not gonna be able to see, but we're really gonna try to get this cleaned up more. There's just a lot of just yeah. trees and trash and everything. Yeah. And the thing is guys, this house we already know is just gonna be a constant project, which we're totally cool with. We understand that the priority is gonna be the inside. Once we're done with the inside, then we're gonna start tackling some of these projects outside, which may not be till next spring. The nice thing is, is even though there are little projects, nothing's like bad enough that it's make that it makes right. the house like unenjoyable. Like we still have a lot of open uh, fenced in area for the dogs to be in and stuff. So it's still like very usable. Exactly. Like it's, it's not making it so we can't enjoy the house. Exactly. So this is the big backyard here. Um, this is really nice. We don't use this as much as we should. And part of it is because we want to get this cleaned up before letting the dogs, you know, come back here and run a whole bunch. But some of these trees, like a lot of trees the neighbors tell me had fallen. So in here, it just needs to be cleaned up. This is gonna be our nephew Zave's uh, little area. So we were so excited for this for him. I think we need to like fix it up a little bit for yeah. safety and maybe repaint it. Oh, the dog see grandma. <laughs> this is like the back, like the main backyard entertainment area of our house. So. You'll see part, most of this, or part of this is like concreted, which that's really nice. Um, this deck portion here is wood and some of those boards are falling apart. So I don't know how long that's gonna last. So that may end up getting extended to concrete as well. Again, that's really low priority. We have the other set of uh, sliding doors there, which will probably turn into French doors as well. Nice little covered patio area. And as you can see here, you know, just like a nice hangout area. We brought our grill from before and the old owner gave us this um, uh, big, big green, green egg. egg. <laughs> so that is something they left that we're actually excited about. Um, and then you'll see right next to that is a hot tub. Yay! Um, so we are actually really, really excited for this, even though it's not working yet. So when they redid the siding, they disconnected the hot tub and uh, they never put it back together. So we are gonna get one really good service. Just have them go through everything, make sure it's running right, get a new cover. From there, we should be able to maintain it, but um, we still need to call them. Our list of to-do is getting just longer <laughs> and longer. It's gonna be so nice to have this though, now that it's yeah. getting cooler outside. I know, I'm so excited for this. I think, don't you think we'll probably end up taking this little lanai thing out? I oh, think it's not a lanai. Not a lanai. I don't know why I just said that. Just a little but pergola. A pergola. Yeah. Yeah. I think that we'll end up probably removing that and just making this like kind of a big open area. I do want to yeah. put up like a sail or something to provide right. some shade. Yeah. Um. But not exactly like this. Yeah. But it's kind of awkward too because it's it does an awkward jet shape. Out. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll figure something out with this. Yeah. It's a nice. It's got. We have tons of like deck space to use. Right. Like, so. Okay. Should we do a drum roll for the finale? <laughs> <laughs> Cool, so over here is the barn. Horse stable. Horse stable, I should now, say. Now, I that. mentioned earlier that the old owner had a horse. Yeah. 27 years old, and she grew up with it. But see, what happened was, is where she was moving to, um, she couldn't take the horse. So yeah. we, there was a bit of a dilemma of, is she going to have to, the horse is really old, mm -hmm. but they it was possibly going to have it. to be put down. A lot of the rescues that she talked to were saying that he would probably end up being put down. So us being animal lovers, yes, we couldn't we see that happen. Horse. Stay so we have a horse. 
We'll give them a little extra food, even though dinner's early, just so you guys can I see, see him. I see him waiting, too. He is, yeah. Oh. He is. Hello. Hi. You say hello. hello. Hi, baby. Hi. So this is Flame. Hi, and he Flame. is our newest addition to the family. And he really doesn't care about the camera. He just wants this food. Yes. So, oh, is he going to say hi? Hi, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> hey, my name is, Oh, I don't oh, got oh. no food for you. Oh, come on. Say, give me some food. Okay, here little. you go. Will. There you go. <laughs> just a little snack. We'll get oh. you dinner soon. Is it good? Yeah. So Flame, like Jen said, he's 27 years old. Of course, we did not have the heart to even give him the chance to be put down. He's lived here his whole life. Um, we only thought it was fair. We are gonna work on cleaning this barn up. That is a little bit of a higher priority because as you can see on the outside, it was getting run down and everything. But you guys know we travel a lot and that was our big dilemma. It was like, hey, can we responsibly take this horse on? What we kind of figured out with doing some research and stuff is, as you can see if you back up a little, Jen, there are two more stalls here, right? Yes. So what we're working on, and we don't have <laughs> anybody yet, but the goal is to get another horse in here in one of these, um, or I mean even a donkey or something. <laughs> and when we're home, we'll take care of both animals. And then when we're gone, and like we'll let them stay for free because if they're taking care of Flame when we're gone, that's the priority. Yeah. You know, so when we're here, we can take care of both animals. When we're gone, that person takes yep. care of both animals. You know what I just realized? What? So Flame is 27 years old. Yeah. We're 27 years oh, old. Oh, you're right. And look, his, this is his date of birth, I think. Oh, Feb wow, that's close to yours. February, wait, isn't that Tucker's birthday? February no, 18th. that is. What? Tucker's birthday. I think that's Tucker's oh, birthday. Oh, but not 95. But that's the year I was 19. born. That is crazy. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I I, I thought February 11th was All right. Tucker's birthday. I need to double check that now if I still have the Because I think Matt's birthday is February 18th. Oh, that's so cute. They're the same <laughs> birthday. They really are. Okay, now, now I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. It says claim. Yeah. On there. Flame. So there must have been another... Um, another one here before. I think they these nuggets. Two more. Sam, born in on in 1990. So, so we're really excited to be horse owners. We kind of don't know what we're doing, yeah. but we've mm -hmm. been figuring it out and like with research and stuff. And yeah. um, I feel like we've been here for a few weeks, and I feel like he stayed really healthy he and has. happy. Yeah. He's so sweet. He comes up. Um, so in the oh, mornings, yeah, yeah, in the mornings we go walking down here and he'll like come up to the fence to say hi and he'll walk with us a little bit yeah so yeah so that's the other and then there is see there's a ladder to get up to the top so flame doesn't eat hay um because he has no teeth so that's why he's on that specific diet and normally he's a senior horse he's a senior horse normally i'll even water down his food you know when i just give him a little bit i don't worry as much but so he can't eat the hay but there's even like a hay thing up there. So that's gonna be oh, your cool. job to get up there and clean it up. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got a huge yard here. Yeah, this is all um, his. So um, he can't, we let him out for a few hours a day out in this big main area because he's not supposed to be out on soft ground right. all day long because he has a condition with his hooves. Yeah. So he needs to be on like solid concrete, solid ground mm -hmm. for a good chunk of the day. So we yeah. let him out for a few hours and then we put him back in. He does still have access to this area, um, but he'll he'll end up spending like more time in the stable, which is good for his hooves and everything, so. Yep. And then it's so cute. So this, so his fencing area butts up against like our backyard right that the dogs are using mostly now. So it's so cute because they'll like come up to the fence and say hi to him. Won't you, Tucker? Are you having fun? Do you like Tucker your new house? <laughs> yes, you do. Look at how handsome you are. Do you know that you and Flame have the same birthday? Tucker loves being a farm dog. I mean, yes. it was so cute the first time we brought him here. We just let him off the leash to run. I mean, that pond, no, 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 the, um, where the garden was, there used to be more um, tomato plants there. And he leaped over them yes. like first thing and just went crazy. Yep. Oh look, so. someone's coming around to say hi. Aww. So well, I think That's that it. wraps up the tour, right? Well, I think we yeah. showed you guys everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yes. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but yeah, kind of an update on what's been going on for the last... We This has been in the works for a few months it and has. we've been kind of keeping it under wraps. 
Um, but we're so excited to finally be here, yes. staying in the fifth wheel on our nice property and we renovating love our this. New house. We yes. really, really do. It's been so fun. Yeah. So. so thank you guys so much for watching and make sure um, to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to our channel. So definitely follow along and we will see you next week for another video. Bye guys. See ya.